Are you looking into creating a digital product? If you have absolutely no clue where to start, you're in the right place. I'm going to take y'all through one of my favorite apps and show you every single element of creating a digital product within Notion. Habari, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Keisha Andrea, your favorite brand and content strategist. You looked at that title. Today, we're going to walk through Notion and create a digital product. Not just with Notion, but any digital product that you create should focus on the whole user experience for the person that's gonna buy your product. It should serve a purpose and lead them to some sort of transformation or an end goal that they have in mind. And Notion is a little bit complicated, but it's very versatile once you get a hang of it and how the app works. So I'm gonna walk you through Notion and show you every single part of creating a digital product so that it's structured well and that navigating Notion isn't overwhelming for you and that it's simple and easy to navigate for you and the people who will be buying that digital product from you. So let's go ahead and jump into Notion so I can walk you through creating your own digital product in Notion. All right, so we are in the e-learning dashboard. This is a dashboard that I originally created for courses. You're gonna see you can use it for a digital product as well and create this on your own, or you can take advantage of this already being made for you and go down in the link in my bio and grab this template for yourself. I've already mentioned that the user experience is very important. When you're thinking about your customers getting a digital product, what is the first thing that you want them to have? You want to welcome them, show them how to use the product. So one of the best ways to do that is add in a video, a welcome video that's gonna walk them through the whole thing. So if you look at the dashboard here, there's a section for you to add your welcome video. It can introduce who you are, tell them a little bit about the product and set expectations as well. Any videos that are added to Notion, I recommend that you record the video and get a link for that video. Use the video embed within Notion to add your video. If there is an option where you could just add the video directly to Notion, but if it's over five megabytes, I think that's the limit and that's not a lot at all. You're going to have to pay for an upgraded version of Notion. But one of the reasons why I love Notion is because it is a free platform and it has so many features under the free version, it's really not necessary to upgrade in most cases. Then if you look to the left side of the dashboard, this is where you can introduce yourself add a photo, add a greeting, change the cover photo above to customize it to your liking. The cover photo size should be 1500 pixels by 600 pixels. You'll see that Notion cover changes with the screen size. So if you're on the iPad, it's going to look different from when you're on the desktop. If you're on the desktop, it's going to look different from when you use your phone in Notion. So you kind of have to play around with the dimensions when you're going to create your own cover photo image, but the suggested is 1500 by 600 pixels. And going back to this welcome section, this is where you're going to introduce yourself as the creator of the product and the main objective of the digital product. So as you can see here, it says, hello, I'm, and you would insert your name here where it says your photo here. This is where you enter your photo. I'll show you an example in the video vault. This is a free template that I created in Notion. You could grab that down below as well. But here's an example of what that would look like. There's a table of contents or a navigation section where you can link each section of your course in order here. This is gonna be very important if your digital product is taking your customer through a journey. They're gonna need to know how to get to places quickly. So a navigation section is gonna help them out a lot. Before we get into the content of this dashboard, I wanna show y'all something really cool. 
a sidebar. You can see it this way if you're on a tablet or on the desktop version. If you're looking at it from mobile for anybody, it's just going to show one column. The sidebar is going to come after everything else is going to be at the very end of the page. If you look here, you can see that there's a sidebar. This is great for you to add upsell offer, any updates or changes, a feedback survey, any frequently asked questions that they may have. You can add a checklist, a task list, any miscellaneous things that would be beneficial to the people that's going to buy your digital product would be great to put in this sidebar. It's fairly easy to add a sidebar. If you're gonna do this and create your own template, all you would have to do is add two columns. One column is the sidebar is gonna be the skinnier column, add whatever you want into the other column. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new page to show you how you can add column in Notions. A quick way that I navigate Notion is by hitting the backslash key on the keyboard. I can type down columns or scroll down. I'm gonna create two columns. I like to label it because if you go to another place, it will disappear. You'll have to do it all over again. Second column, I'm gonna just label this as a sidebar. And this side is gonna be the main content. And I'm going to make that sidebar smaller. When you're creating a new page in Notion, I like to click on full width. So you can utilize all the real estate within Notion. So as you can see, it's split up into two columns. And once you label everything and add all the contents, it'll look like this. Now we'll get into the content section. Before I get into the actual content, I always like to add a little best practices before you get started, like I did here in the video vault. This was a content bank and a content planner, but there's so much more that goes into content creation. And I went ahead and added that to the best practices section. So you're welcome to do that as well. And then you get into the contents. This dashboard was created for e-learning. So you could use this for digital products instead of having an ebook in Canva or using Google Drive or Google Docs or Google Sheets, whatever platform that you use, you can transfer all of that information. Here, this experience is so much better. What I like to do is divide each section from start to finish based on that end goal that we talked about earlier or the main objective. Any digital product that you create, any course that you create should have a main objective and you should be guiding that person through that one objective. That's why people will have more than one digital product. Most times you're focusing on one specific end goal that you can help that person with. Lay out that end goal from beginning to end. What are the steps that it's going to take for them to get to that end goal? That's how you can use the course content section here within this dashboard or if you create your own dashboard, section it by the steps that they are supposed to take in order to reach that goal. So these are all sectioned off where it's already laid out for you in a course setup, but if you don't plan to use it that way, you can always click on this and delete those sections. Remember I told you that you can add video. This is the embed link for the video. You can just post it on YouTube. Don't publish it to everyone. Make it private. Bring that link over here. Add that link and press embed video. And as you can see here, if you choose to upload the video directly from your device, your limit is going to be five megabytes unless you upgrade to plus to use that feature. So you can add as many sections as you want. Duplicate this by hovering over it, duplicating it that way. Boom. There you have another section. The live version is always going to be laid out this way. If you decide to sell Notion templates in the future, you have to make this private it and the person that purchases your digital product from you, you they're going to have to duplicate this 
to make it their own and make their own changes. That's something that you're going to have to include in your video walkthrough or your digital download link to your digital product. One thing that I love to do in Notion, create an experience for the visual learners. People like me who love to look at the visuals, dividing each section off helps us out adding cover photos. If you look at these cover photos, you add this to each section of your dashboard. This is done same way we did the video. Backslash, type image, and you upload your image file. These are all uploaded image files, and you can always create your own image file. The cool thing about this digital product that you can get down below, it has Canva photos that you can customize yourself. You can skip that process. So as you can see, I took my own advice and thought of the user experience. So always make sure you're thinking about your customer's experience. That's Notion. You can easily create your own digital product within this free platform. And once you get a hang of it and you learn how to structure it and you learn all of Notion's features, it's easy to work with. It's something that you can duplicate to create as many digital products as you would like. So let me know down in the comments comments below your thought. Thank you for tuning in as always. All the information down below to create and sell your digital product is listed down below. That's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace y'all. I love y'all.